we have a couple advanced math instructions. They are extremely simple. The lab is really short. Very straightforward. The encode and decode. Encode 1 of 16 to 4 and decode 4 to 1 of 16. So let's think about this. Encode 1 of 16 to 4. What the encode instruction does is takes a 16-bit binary register takes the least significant bit that is set to 1. If it's bit 4, then it'll put a 4 in the destination. If bit 8 is on, it puts an 8 in the destination. Now, the destination is a binary value, but it's taking one of 16 bits, which would be 0 through 15 if you're thinking decimal, but since um, we use hexadecimal, it would be 0 through 9, and then 10 through 15 would be A, B, C, D, E, and F. So if all the bits in the source were off and you turned on bit 15, then it would put an F in the 2, 4. So encode 1 of 16 to 4. Decode is just the opposite. It'll take whatever is in the 4 and decode it and turn on 1 of 16 bits, meaning that if you're decoding four, and these four bits are all four zeros, the value is zero. It'll turn on the first bit and the 16-bit destination because that's bit zero. Starting from bit zero and scanning towards bit 15 of the source, the least significant bit to be found in the on state will have its position displayed in the destination as an integer. The only bit that counts is the least significant bit in the on state and there should only be one bit on at a time in the source. If you happen to have two bits on, it's still going to display the least significant bit. So toggle B320 to the on state. That basically enables the encode 1 of 16 to 4 instruction. Toggle bit 0 of B30 to the on state bit 0, position 0 equals 0. Toggle bit 0 off and bit 1 on. Bit 1 or position 1 equals 1. Toggle bit 1 off and bit 7 on. Bit 7 or position 7 equals 7. Toggle 7 off and bit 10 on. In other words, the bit 10 of B30 and you get A. Remember A in hexadecimal is equivalent to 10 in decimal. Toggle 10 off and bit 15 on. Bit 15, position 15 equals F. So it will take the least significant bit of the source B30 and in the first position the first four bits of the output word 0 it will display an integer value to represent the least significant bit of B30. Leave bit 15 on and toggle on bit 3. With bits 15 and 3 on, what value do you have in the destination? 3. The least significant bit is the one that wins. None of the rest of them matter. Which bit in the on state has the only influence on the hexadecimal value in the destination. The least significant bit that is in the on state or that equals 1. The decode 4 to 1 of 16 instruction is the exact opposite or complement of the encode 1 of 16 to 4. Kind of like the 2BCD from BCD instructions. Since you performed a lab with them together, it's, it should be fairly easy to remember how they function. Toggle B3 2 slash 1 to the on state. That enables the decode 4 to 1 of 16 instruction. All inputs in the off state, bit 0 of B31 is on because the source, input word 0, all the bits are off. All the inputs are off. 
which equals zero. So bit zero of B31 is on to indicate that the value of the source is zero. It's not one, it's zero. One gives you the positional notation. Bit zero, value zero. Now toggle input zero on. Now bit one of B31 is on to show that you now have position one on. Toggle input one on, bit three of B31 is on. Toggle input two on, bit seven of B31 is on. Toggle input three on, bit 15. So you, right now, all four bits are on in the first four bits of your input word. That's why you see for source, you see F and then a little h to say it's hexadecimal. Remember, f is 1111, which is 15. So bit 15 is on. In other words, you've converted the hexadecimal value of the source to a positional notation that represents the value in terms of bit position. Toggle input 1 and 3 off. Now you have 6. The instruction views the first four bits of the source as a hexadecimal value 0 through 9, A through F, or 0 through 15, and then sets the corresponding bit 0 through 15 in the destination word.